If you're over 25, your skin is already losing collagen right now. And that means wrinkles, sagging, and dullness are creeping in faster than you think. But what if you could stop it? Today, we're breaking down exactly what's causing collagen loss, the biggest mistakes people make when trying to fix it, and the best treatments you can start using right now to keep your skin firm, plump, and youthful. As we both know, collagen slows down as we age. Yeah. It's depressing a little bit. Yeah. It's, we're all facing it though, right? Oh yeah. So what can we do to help stimulate that collagen to keep our skin looking fabulous? At least it's as good as it can look, look, right? Yes. We need it to just keep looking I mean, nice yeah, let's add on to that depressing thing with mm -hmm. another depressing fact is like by the time you reach 25, so you don't have a line on your face at 25, your collagen is already mm -hmm. starting to decrease. It's like 1% every year. Yeah. For the rest of your life. And yeah. that's like the first quarter of your life, if you think about sure. it. By the time you're like in your 70s, you're looking at like 75% less collagen. That's horrifying. And let's face it, we're in the second quarter. I don't <laughs> want to think about that. Yeah, right. We're already in our 50s. I got 25 years of collagen loss that I've just yeah. dealt with. Well, you know, though... We do things right here, mm -hmm. obviously. I mean, gosh darn it, I've been in business almost 25 years. So we've been using the right thing. Yes, so we've been slowing it down. So it's important to really do things that are going to specifically help with your collagen and your elastin too. Right. Let's just throw that in there. They're always together, collagen and elastin. Right. But yeah, it's important that you are focusing on the right ingredients and things that are going to help stimulate more collagen production sure. in your skin. Yes. Like never skimp on that because, I mean, it's a fact. Right. We're, we're losing it. And there are factors that we really can't control, like sun exposure, no. stress level. We can control like our sugar intake. I know yeah. that that, um, you know, if you lessen that can help. Sure. Um, so I and think we can put SPF on. SPF, absolutely. And no smoking. Right. Yeah. Lifestyle. Yeah. Lifestyle. Lifestyle changes. Absolutely. Yeah. Because those those environmental factors, those are biggies. And if, you, if you're doing just those couple little things that you're already helping that. And I don't know what percent you're helping that by, but it's it's got to be good. We're like definitely slowing down the collagen breakdown train. So what can you do to help stimulate it? Let's start with that. Well, we always want to be challenging our skin a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's a lot of times it's a wounding effect that stimulates your skin to regenerate itself, right? right? right. So we can get that by using daily acids. Mm -hmm. We can get that by using retinoids, certain key ingredients, you sure. know, vitamin C, stuff like that. Chemical peels mm -hmm. are huge for stimulating right. collagen, especially like TCA. And of course, you know, mm -hmm. microinfusion, the whole needling process, lasers, mm -hmm. And even like an LED mask, things like that mm. all stimulate collagen. So we kind of want to stack all of that together. Oh, my God. And, yeah. you know, with your dailies and then, you know, either mm -hmm. weekly or monthly treatments. And if we're doing all of this consistently, then we can really change the trajectory of our collagen just dwindling away. And we can actually turn that around and start, you know, creating new collagen and tightening the skin and making everything firmer and better looking. But you know, you have to be consistent with those things. You can't just do one treatment or right. one peel and think, well, gosh darn it, you know, my face looks the same. Well, sure it does. Right. You know, it's gonna take months for that one treatment to work up in your skin and actually be visible. Exactly. So, I mean, that's always something that I think people are too quick to dismiss. They'll do something once or twice and, and not see results. And then be like, well, it didn't work. Right. Well, no, you know, give it give it another month and now you'll start seeing it. People will be like, well, you look good. And I'm like, yeah. well, I didn't do anything. I must just yeah, be great. It's something you did last month. It's something that you did two, three months ago. Right. But, and, you know, if you're constantly doing that, every yeah. single month you're doing something, you're just going to look better and better. And, you know, before you know it, people will be, be like, what did you do? And it's nothing specific. It's just that you're on a good regimen. So what are the, some of the common mistakes that people are making that are causing that collagen to 
kind of break down quicker? Well, I mean, obviously things like tanning and smoking mm-hmm. and well, living in a highly polluted area like a big city, and sometimes there's nothing you can do about that. Right, but right. those are key factors. Mm-hmm. You know, like anything that you're doing in excess, excess of, you know, alcoholism. I mean, just anything you're doing, if you're eating bad things, kind of like how you were mentioning too much sugar. Sure. And that causes like glycation and mm-hmm. all these kinds of things. I mean, those help to, help, they don't help you in a good way, right? They help to break everything down. So you have to definitely change your focus. So obviously a bad thing, I mean, we want to use acids every day, something like an acid cleanser or, you know, a retinoid at night. Mm -hmm. But what you don't want to do is like go crazy with those, right? Right. And I don't want you using an acid cleanser and then an acid toner Mm. and then an acid serum and then, and then a retinoid and then a retinoid plus an acid at night and and just do like all these aggressive things every single day. Like you do have to give your skin a little bit of time. You know, there's a a term I see thrown around like cycling, Mm -hmm. you know, like maybe do your you know, acid serum today and do your, do it for a day or two and then do your retinoid for a day or two. And then kind of like give your skin, I like to keep it guessing, you know, like you do one today, one tomorrow, one today, one tomorrow. Don't always just be hitting it with everything at once. Well, I don't want to do, you know, a TCA 7 or 13 peel and work my way up like normal people. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do like a TCA 30 Mm. because I want to really simulate collagen. Like that's a no-no, right? right? You're just going to hurt yourself. You're going to cause hyperpigmentation and it's just, it's not going to be good in the long run. So don't be too aggressive. Absolutely. That's I take calls all the time and... I find that they're always in a hurry for that next peel. When can I do the next peel? When can I do the next peel? Yeah. That healing and recovery time is so important because that's when a lot of that great collagen building and elasticity, all of that is happening behind the scenes underneath the skin. Yeah, they think when the flaking is done, well, I must be all done. Yeah. No, you're not all done. That's the beginning. You don't want to yeah, you're done flaking. healing time because you're you're putting your skin right back to that kind of shock light like yeah, state. Yeah, an inflammatory state yeah, because the peel does cause inflammation. Yeah, and that's interesting in itself, you know, like a yeah. controlled chemical burn is, you know, you're inflaming the skin to cause it to Completely regenerate. regenerate itself. You know, yeah. so you have to care for it and let it recover nice and calm. Just and like you would if you were burned yourself absolutely. on the stove. You're not going to just, well, I'm going to stick my finger there again and see yeah. if it's better now. Yeah. No, you're going to put ointment on it and put a Band-Aid yeah. on it and yeah. be a baby it, you so know. So patience. Patience is key. Absolutely. I think a fun place to go if you want to see a lot of transformations. And, of course, mm-hmm. we have the website. So anywhere that you're searching on the website, like let's say you go to the TCA product page, there's a bar there. It says mm-hmm. customer experiences, and it shows photos that right. everybody's uploaded. Well, if you were to click the customer experience, mm-hmm. it takes you to a page, which right. is only photos. So you could click more like a hundred times. There's so right. many photos. Every time that entire page loads, mm-hmm. you scroll, scroll, scroll more, scroll, scroll. There's tons and tons of pictures to look at and you're seeing everybody's transformations. Yes. They're excited to Absolutely. put up those pictures. And then also in our group too, you can go there mm-hmm. and see like the Platinum Skincare Gurus on Facebook. If you have a Facebook account, of course, yes. you can go in there and see everybody's before and after pictures. And you know, when you see people... I think we just had an email that went out the other day and there was somebody and she had been doing peels for 10 months Mm -hmm. using products, doing peels for 10 months. And her skin was like night and day. It was like so much smoother and refined. I think I know which one you're talking about. Even some serious heavy lines, like the number 11 lines and things like that were really smoothed out. But look at how much time that took. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure it was looking Mm -hmm. better. But that's why you take pictures, right? You look at day one and you look at day 200 Mm -hmm. or whatever that is. For sure. And you're just like, wow. Right. It it really does work. You just have to, you know, give it time. Yeah. And so those pictures are out there. If anybody wants to see them, there's in abundance. And she's not the only one. Inside our Peel Nation Facebook group, we have thousands of women sharing their results, their journeys, and helping each other every day. If you want to see real transformations and get support, come join us. And what I've been hearing from a lot of customers that I talk to every day, the red light therapy mask, our Illuminate, mm-hmm. is really playing a key role in how their skin is reacting. And they love it because they can do it right after a peel. Yes. If they, 
you know, want to take some time off from the peels. They've been using it every other day. Yes. Um, I'm hearing a lot of, I love, I love it as well. Yeah, because it's easy and painless. It really is. And there's no downtime. It doesn't no. hurt. It doesn't sting. You put it on for, you know, 15 minutes or so every other day. And yep. voila, you I start go for to 30. See. Personally, You're up to 30. I set it to 30. There you go. And I do it either when I go to bed at night, mm -hmm. like I'll just like pop it on. Sure. If, 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 you know, like if my husband's watching TV, if he's like sleeping, well, I'm not because it lights up the whole it room. Does. But, it does. But if he's, you know, still up or the TV's mm -hmm. on, whatever, I'll put it on and then I'll literally fall asleep with it on. And right. then, like, when it goes out, I wake up and yeah. I just take there it off go. and set it on my nightstand. Yeah, absolutely. I've done it in the morning too. Let's say I wake up early. You know, sometimes you wake up before your alarm goes off and I'll like wake up and be like, hey, I'm going to pop that on oh. and then go back to sleep. And then when I wake up, oh. boom, it's on. So, I mean, you can, because that's okay. You know, yeah. I mean, yeah, I have a little bit of things on my face, but they're all soaked into my skin. Sure. I'm not I'm not stopping that light. That light penetrates that's deep into idea. your skin. So, yeah, I literally just did that yesterday. That's a great idea. I never <laughs> really thought about using it in the morning. but Yeah, if you wake up yeah. early or something, why not? That's awesome. But yeah, great for collagen. Let's go through a good regimen for somebody who is really looking to stimulate and rebuild their collagen level. Right. So obviously, you know, start off with a cleanser of mm -hmm. your liking because it's always good to exfoliate. Then your products are going to penetrate well. Yeah. So if you're using like revitalizing cleansers, 10% yeah. acid, gentle exfoliation. And now when you put on your products, they're going to penetrate well. Oh, I had a lady tell me her eyes are totally reformed. Transformed, I should say. What was she, she using? Matrixel. I took a phone call yesterday, nice. and she was blown away by the improvement that she is seeing around her eyes with the Matrixel Synthesix. Well, that's awesome, and that's for collagen. It is. Yeah, that's it, for collagen. It is in our IPL kit. It is. Yes, and that's so you can do where, the TCA, mm -hmm. which yeah. you know we've already discussed yeah. is beneficial for collagen, and then. Right. Use that every single day. And that doesn't have to yeah. just be on the eye area, right? right? Yeah. You can put that on your whole face. That's exactly yes, what her call great was. Great yeah. for the eye area, mm -hmm. yes. But it can also, you know, stimulate that collagen and elastin yeah. on the whole face. And I would do even like a two potion combo. You can do the Matrixel, mm -hmm. Syn6, and then you can do Syn TC. Oh, that's amazing. Because Syn TC, TC for total collagen. So yes. put those on as like one of your first serums every single day. Yes. And then, you know, another thing that's really good for collagen is vitamin C. Mm -hmm. Vitamin C is very good for collagen. And ours has like the three different vitamin C's in there. It's got the L-ascorbic. It has mm -hmm. the aminopropyl ascorbophosphate or AAP. And then it has the THDA. And all three of those mm -hmm. are known for stimulating huge amounts of collagen, mm -hmm. especially the AAP. Right. That one is like 140% more collagen than normal. So something like this every single day. Right. Super beneficial. And you're like, it's good for so many things. That's the thing. Most of these ingredients are good for so many things that right. you like, it's hard to almost like focus on just collagen. And then I would say another good thing, of course, in your daily regimen, uh, sunblock, of course, mm. is super important yes. to protect your skin. Absolutely. And then at night, you know, another retinoid, mm -hmm. something like our Fusion A. Right. You know, retinoids absolutely stimulate collagen and elastin. And, you know, for a good daily regimen, I mean, there you go. You know, I forgot. What about, you know, these? See, now these are new. So, of course, I forgot to mention these. Right. But both of these, mm -hmm. the PDRN and the human exosomes, are super duper for collagen and elastin. And these don't have to just be needled into the skin. Right. They can be applied on a daily basis. I would say, you know, obviously the best way to get these into your skin mm -hmm. is to needle them. And right. needling, the microinfusion process, that's another treatment sure. that's just, well, it's collagen induction therapy. Yes. Of course yes. it's for collagen. And then, of course, peels like TCA too. Great one. Seven or 13 is super to start at. So we have discussed a daily regimen. Let's talk about the heavy hitters here. Right. The treatments. Collagen induction mm -hmm. therapy. Right? That is the literal name. Collagen yes. induction therapy is what is needling. Now, obviously, this is microinfusion where you are penetrating those sure. ingredients whilst needling. Mm -hmm. So this is just kind of an advanced form of needling. But doing something like this, you can do this once every two to four weeks. Mm -hmm. This is key. Right. And where we were talking about how the, the exosomes and the PDRN 
are excellent for stimulating collagen right, right off the bat. If you are needling those into your skin, mm-hmm. well, now you're getting like 80% penetration sure. of those ingredients. So voila, that is super important. Obviously, other things that are important, I think the very best peel for collagen and all honesty mm-hmm. is TCA. Right. And it doesn't mean you have to do some super, super strong TCA peel. You right. can do a seven or a 13. You do not have to go any stronger than that to still get the benefits. It's, it's the layering sure. that gives you the mm-hmm. benefits from TCA. And then of course, something like an LED mask. Mm-hmm. And you know, also IPL, you know, we have the VIS IPL sure. machine. When you're, when you have the rejuvenation cartridge, mm-hmm. that is very good for stimulating collagen as right. well. So, I mean, those are big, heavy hitters that you can do, you know, once every two to four weeks to really add on to your Mm -hmm. collagen stimulation. So then we won't be losing, you know, 70% of our collagen by the time we get older. We're going to look like maybe we're in our 40s. Like 40 is going to be the new 70. Well, they're saying that, you know, 50 is the new 30 and 60 is the new 40. So, you know, we're just going to keep it going. Yep, that's the way it needs to be. We have to just keep, you know, reinventing and changing and fixing, and we have all the things to do that. So it can be done. We can look better than our previous generations did. Absolutely. I agree. Yeah, and and I'm not, like, fighting these things. We're we're, We're embracing our age, but let's let's be real. We want to look as good as we can look. If you have any questions or you want to reach out to us, so, you know, we can help you individually with a yes. regimen. You know, give us a call, 1-800-917-3155. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can email support at PlatinumSkincare.com. Join our Facebook group, Platinum Skincare Gurus. Anything else? I think that's it. Yeah, we're excited yeah, to help you on call. your journey.